YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution for Kicks, back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, smash, kick, chop, slash, punch, whatever you need to do. Hit that notification button so you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. And also, you get to know when I'm dropping one of these things. And uh, yeah, I've been on a once a week tear, if you will, because I've been living life. And I'm gonna get into that in another video that's gonna be following this one shortly behind it. So one thing you notice already in the video is that the infrastructure is in place. The lighting is set up, new racks in the back. Um, I did a little quick video on um, Instagram where I said, hey, I have to get some new racks and all that good stuff. Um, some people asked me about the black racks that I had. Yes, they are very, very affordable, but I'll caution you this. Given the fact that I moved and um, once I took the racks apart, I realized that um, they kind of connect to each other like this all right they interlock and um some of those uh locking brackets had cracked because of the weight and um the floor in that room where i had my shoes at before my last place was not even i, I didn't know that but you can put like little spaces at the bottom of it to kind of level it out and i thought i had done that but i guess given with the weight of all the shoes and everything those um connections did crack but today's video is about a sneaker i picked up about a month and a half ago all right, and um, they, they released a few colorways of these. A few um, sneaker YouTubers have reviewed them. And um, there's one in the pack that I really, really liked because it kind of harkens back to a sneaker that I got when I was a kid, almost, almost. But um, we're gonna get into it. I'm not gonna hold you up too long and drag it out. So right here in this box. The Jordan 1 Retro low black toe i don't own the black toes i don't own the bread toes either it was one of those times i was um well the black toes dropped and i wasn't really checking for retro jordans at the time like that i was an air force one guy the um, bread toes dropped i did not get my lazy self up and um pursue that sneaker which is why i don't have in collection but i'll get them eventually one day it's okay it's just a shoe at the end of the day but this one right here is a nice affordable option a lot of people don't like mids you saw my video shout out to everybody that's still contributing to the activity of that video i think it's approaching 35,000 views right now with over um something like a thousand comments on it somewhere in there every at least two three times a week i get a notification that somebody chimed in on that video um i cannot say what i did to get that video to that point um i did do some cool editing if you will I did the same hashtags, you know, SEO type stuff, but I guess the title is really what did it. But anyway, back to this shoe coming in at $90, very, very affordable, um, you know, for the sneaker heads out there. And like I said, I got something right here. I don't know what that is. It's like glue or something, but uh, at $90, really affordable, still a very, very dope sneaker. A lot of people don't like lows. A lot of people don't like mids, like I, you know, to retrace what I just said. But these are very cool looking, given that they're offshoot of the very iconic Chicago colorway. And if you know my videos, you heard me say I actually own the official release of Chicago's when I was a little boy. My dad bought those for me, so that is one of my grails, one of my retro J grails. But at ninety dollars you're getting a lot of good quality these you got some tumble leather right here on the toe box on the um the side panel on the medial and you have some new buck this is not suede this is clearly new buck and um not a lot of glue spray anything like that going on here of course with the you know the gym red end cap right there varsity red camp what do they call it is red gym red exactly i knew it was correct I'm kind of getting really, really good at the shades that uh, Nike Jordan brand uses. But uh, one thing I will say, if it's a con to wearing retro lows, is that if you have fallen arches, you know, of that nature, retro lows do not look really good on your feet. You wanna wear uh, um, arch support or an orthotic so your foot isn't leaning to the inside right here. And I know that because I have somewhat fallen arches Well. Yeah, I have fallen arts and also having a right ankle injury that causes my foot to lean. If you watch my own foot video, if you paid attention in my retro fours, 
my um, bread cement, black cements, if you will, my right foot leans a little bit due to an injury and I didn't put the orthotics in that shoe. Um, but these are really, really dope. And style wise, style wise, these were, lows look really good with a tapered jean. Uh, I'm not gonna say skinny jean, thing like that, or extremely skinny, that's on you. Or a, a tapered sweatpants. If you're someone who likes to wear a boot cut, who wears boot cuts? Or you wear like a regular cut jean and it sits down over here and you try to tuck them in behind here, they aren't gonna look good. They don't look good with a lot of sneakers anyway, but it's your money, it's your preference and things like that. So you, you wanna watch the styling of it so it doesn't look a little peculiar, if you will, if you're into how your, your fits look and things like that. I'm somebody who pays attention to that. Um, but yeah, the tongue is a bit more pronounced on here because it appears Jordan brand is going for the uh, skateboard-esque effect with these aesthetic, pardon me, the skateboard aesthetic with these. But yeah, I only have a few pairs of lows in my collection. I actually sold a pair. Um, if you go way, way, way back in my, well, actually it's in the collection video when you first come to my channel. I have a green um, pair of, from the City Pack, the Paris City Pack that are called the Avocado Croissants because the colorway looks like the skin of an avocado. But these right here, I got these for the super low at the Nike Hillsboro clearance store. If you know about the clearance stores, make sure you got some time. And um, yeah, you're gonna spend some time in here, but these are the breads, but it's not the, uh, material bread if you will because these are nylon it's a uh, black nylon red nylon with a uh, leather around the heel in the toe and right here along the lacing system and the ankle collar but yeah they also have that pronounced tongue right there oh backtrack for a second the qr code does appear on these releases a lot of people are talking about that i haven't scanned it yet and see what comes up but that's to combat the uh the bootlegging that goes on. So we're gonna slide these off to the side down here. Next up is a pair of straight dead stock. I mentioned these when I reviewed the uh, metallic mids. I mentioned these, but these also come in a hot top version. I think they're the Carmelos or is a Black History Month that comes in this colorway if I'm not mistaken. Let me know, I think it's the Black History Month that comes in like this. Might, I can't remember. I, re I do remember a black and gold sneaker right here. But these are actually a grade school. And um, they got extended, as you can see right here. You got your nine youth. This is a sneaker that, oh, this is $80, cause it's grade school. This sneaker I picked up and put down several times. Several, several times going back and forth. If I was gonna buy, if I was gonna wear them or not, and decide to wear something different. The reason for it is that if you know anything about retros and patent leather, they crease like all get out. And you should wear some um, force fields in it if you care about creasing and things like that. Because I have the anti gravity machine, and I'm um, have another pair of um, ones that are patent leather that crease pretty well at the same time. But these are dope. Get those in there. But what did I pay for them if they were $90? You guys know I get the wonderful discount and I believe I paid about $76 for these with the discount. Yeah, um, $76, all right, with the discount. And I bought these on April 6th. Yeah, April 6th at Foot Locker. So most definitely, um, well, $82 at the tax. So knocked off, you know, almost $8 off there. But a dope sneaker, will I get around to wearing them? I'm not sure yet. And uh, I held off on these because I was in the process of moving when I bought these. So they kind of just went straight into the closet, then into the box, then um, back into the closet over here because they didn't make it on the shelf over here. All right, um, if you know my collection, you watch the videos historically, you know, uh, Everything is not right here. This is just for display purposes. I have sneakers in other locations in my home. But make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. Yes, the solution, what are you doing, where you been? I'm gonna get into that in another video and we're gonna chop it up. I told you the channel is evolving. It's not just gonna be about sneakers anymore. It's gonna be about some other stuff because there's more to life than copping kicks. And to be honest with you guys, I have passed on quite a few releases within the last two, three months because my focus has been 
elsewhere with sneakers. It's been, yeah, I like those. And before it's kind of like, oh yeah, I'm just grabbing those because those are on sale, whatever, whatever. Um, I might feature somebody on the channel with their collection as well. So you never know, somebody local, um, we, we get into that at an, like I said, you, you can't just use sneakers, 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 sneakers because the channel becomes stagnant. Trust me, I'm a walking example of that. But like I always say, it's not about how much you pay for the sneakers. Why'd you pay that much? And I'm out of here. Boom. The solution.